let's do some slightly more complicated fractional exponent examples. So we already know that if I were to take 9 to the 1 half power, this is going to be equal to 3. And we know that because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. This is equivalent to saying, what is the principal root of 9? Well, that is equal to 3. But what would happen if I took 9 to the negative 1 half power? Now we have a negative fractional exponent. And the key to this is to just not get too not to get too worried or intimidated by this, but just think about it step by step. Just ignore for the second that this is a fraction and just look at this negative first. Just breathe slowly and realize, okay, I got a negative. Negative exponent. That means that this is just going to be 1 over 9 to the 1 half. That's what that negative is the q for. This is 1 over 9 to the 1 half, and we know that 1 to the 9 to the 1 half is equal to 3 so this is just going to be equal to 1 this is just going to be equal to 1 third. let's take things a little bit further what would have what would this evaluate to and i encourage you to pause the video after trying it or pause the video to try it negative 27 negative 27 to the negative 1 third power so i encourage you to pause the video and think about what this would evaluate to so remember, just take a deep breath. You can always get rid of this negative in the exponent by taking the reciprocal and raising it to the positive. So this is going to be equal to 1 over negative 27 to the positive 1 third power. And I know what you're saying, hey, I still can't breathe easily. I have this negative number to this fractional exponent. But this is just saying what number, if I were to multiply it three times, if I multiply, so if I have that number, so whatever the number this is, I were to multiply it. If I took three of them and I multiplied them together, if I multiplied one by that number three times, what number would I, would I have to use here to get negative 27? Well, we already know, we already know that three to the third, which is equal to three times three times three is equal to positive 27, so that's a pretty good clue. What would negative three to the third power be? Well, that's negative three times negative three times negative 3, which is negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So we just found this number, this question mark. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 27. So negative 27 to the 1 third, this part right over here, is equal to negative 3. So this is going to be equal to 1, 1 over 1 over negative 3, which is the same thing as negative, as negative one third.